Hi everyone. Welcome to the Building Point Australia SketchUp channel. In today's video, I thought it would be a really good idea to take you to a process on how to simulate reflections in SketchUp. It's a very simple process and maybe you can find it useful for your presentations and your projects. So I will take you to the workflow that I follow um, and see if that's something that you can apply. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. I have downloaded this model from the 3D warehouse. So of course you have the 3D warehouse in your toolbox. Um, that's the icon right there, the 3D warehouse. But if for some reason you don't have the 3D warehouse icon there, you can always access it by window. 3D Warehouse, and of course the 3D Warehouse, as most of you know, is a place where you can find thousands and thousands of models that you can download for free and apply to your projects. So that's basically what I've done. I'm just going to close that window. That's basically what I've done. I've, I've downloaded this model from uh, of HA and just put it in my file. And once I've done that, I've created a surface. Basically, it's just a simple surface, uh, just a circle surface or rectangle, whatever it is. In this case, I've just decided to go with the circle. And I have assigned this material, which is a polished concrete. Now, the reflections, at the moment, you can't see any reflections, of course, because yeah, it's nothing to see just yet. So the way that we're going to do that is by just copy this um, object. So we're gonna move it, we're gonna move that in copy mode by press control. Make sure you're in the blue axis. So it will be, in this case, it will be much easier because we need to copy it as I've just done. And we're gonna scale it. Just gonna scale it as a minus one factor. It's sort of the same thing as like mirror, mirror basically, um, and then just move it. Press Shift to lock the, look into the blue axis, and then put it just underneath that surface that you have created. Now, all that we have in here is just two elements, two chairs, and a surface. Now, if we go to the materials, you can edit those materials, and you can see in the tray, materials tray, that there's an opacity function for those materials. So if you play with this function, basically what you're doing is just see how translucent that material is. And because obviously we have another chair underneath that surface, then it just looks like it's a reflection, even though it's just two chairs. Now, how can we see that in a real project? Let me show you in this scene, my second scene, I have created this reception area. And I will show you what I've done is exactly the same. I just copy that, the elements that I need to see in the reflection and scale them And this is all that you need, basically. Now, once in there, you just go and edit the opacity in setting of that material. And then you'll see how everything looks like it's a reflection, even though it's not, but it looks like it. Now, another thing that I would like to do in my presentations, in my projects, is apply shadows. I normally do that at the end because obviously if you, depending on the complexity of the model, if you apply shadows, you're gonna find SketchUp um, a little bit slow. Again, if, you, if your model is really complex. So, but in this case, I'm not gonna do anything about this. This is done for me. This, this is what I'm gonna present. This is when I'm gonna print PDF, export to layout, whatever it is. I just turn the shadows on. And another thing that I like to do is in their styles, if you go to the tray, 
styles um, you'll see that try day styles again if you don't see it you can go to windows default tray and you can find all the trays in there so see styles so well another thing that i like to do is i don't like sometimes i don't like the look of these edges or profiles so i just go to my style and just untick the profiles and that's it you just have to update the style and then you just have to save that as a jpeg send it to layout um pdf it and it looks like a reflection even though it's not so i hope you like this little trick and i hope you find it useful and i'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you